Right, so there's Max here, and as you guys know, I've been building stuff like the softbox and sand dampening the walls and building a microphone, as I might have told you in the last video or a previous video. Um, but yeah, this is all just to make my YouTube channel a bit better, and I might be getting a better camera as well. So yeah, but while I'm doing this, I'm kind of having a little sort out, as this big computer that I've told you about uh, will eventually be my editing and uploading and everything kind of YouTube and other stuff, but mainly for YouTube. Um, but the little laptop with no screen you saw here, um, that is now out of its case and in a box which I might have said or pointed at once in a previous video, I'm not quite sure. But basically, it's half done. You have to run it outside of the case because the hard drive connector. I still haven't got the hard drive connector though. Well, I have, but it's on its way and it's taking a while. Um, but I've got like the heatsink and stuff to kind of finishing it off, and that was the heatsink that I'm going to put on because this is the tiny heatsink from before, tiny thing, and there and that's the copper uh, kind of heat pad thing. Don't know what you call it. And then this is the new heatsink, which is going to be running off this 12 volt fan, running off five volts. This fan's going to be running off five volts, and doesn't make a sound. I'm going to put it right next to the microphone. And it is generating wind. I don't know if the microphone even picked that up. It's just a very gentle piece of wind. When when I connected it to 12 volts, um, it was literally just whining and being so annoying. And also this heatsink should do, because it's a desktop heatsink, and it doesn't have any fan mounting points, so I'm guessing it's quite a good heatsink that it should just cool this laptop one, but I am going to make this just to keep the air moving, um, just to make an airflow. But yeah, so let me just show you what else we've got. Okay guys, so as you know, this is my little monitor stand down here, which I can keep my keyboard under now. There is no computer here, it now connects to the keyboard and mouse, which is cool. Um, yeah, so here are the parts. The little fan says... 12 volt, it's just a cheap one off eBay. Uh, but it was top, uh, it was the top result, so I guessed it was quite good. 12 volt, 0 0.15 amps, 4000 RPM. Made in China, obviously. Um, and this is the new big heat sink. They're both 50 mil, so it should, it should blow air like that. So yeah, this is the old heat sink. The one that's going to cover this second chip is this heatsink here, it's going to cover this little chip and then there's the CPU which the uh, big heatsink, the big copper one will uh, cool and that is where the fan's going to go, just in that little gap there blowing air gently through uh, there's the fan connector which I need to keep cleared even though I'm going to cut off the fan connector and just attach the cable that I don't need, so this one, because otherwise the computer will not pick up the fan and won't boot up. Uh, yeah, that is, if you want to know more about all of this stuff, um, I'll put a card up in the corner to do, want to DIY Perks's video. But anyway, so let's just get into building it. So, I'm just going to show you guys how the heatsink fits. Yeah, basically, that goes that way around. It does go over the ram a bit but I'm not too bothered as this will just be screwed on but yeah basically it will go like that and the fan will be able to plug in the little heat sink that I showed you guys goes there just to keep that cool here's the thermal paste thermal grease um, yeah there's loads in here it's a 30 gram I think so I need to mark out where to drill holes because I obviously need to drill holes to mount it. Okay, so that's roughly where they are. So guys, I did it on this piece of paper because I'm clever and I thought ahead. Now I can just grab this 
and put it in the bin that's over here that you guys can't see. I might just be throwing it back on the floor again. Yeah, okay. So all I was doing then is just, if could you guys see? Kind of. I was just banging the CPU cooler down. So I could get all the particles out so it hopefully won't short out. So the grand um, heat sink putting on. Okay. So line the holes up. Okay. So the fan connector uh, has enough clearance that it just sits there nicely, which is good. I'm not going to be using this fan, I'm going to be using that fan that I showed you a minute ago. Okay guys, so I've hooked up the fan to the sensor wire, so just there, um, if I show you a bit close it might help. Uh, down there, into the connector, but then it is hooked up to this USB so it's running off 5 volts. Uh, so it spins slowly, as I talked to you guys earlier, and I've put both the heat sinks on with some thermal paste. And now, the moment of truth. Let me just turn the monitor on first. The monitor that I made from DIY Perks' video, that I also made a video on. Go check that out up here. And um, yeah, looks like it boots. There's a post. It posts. And there is no operating system, so let's shut it down and plug in the hard drive and see how well it works. So, the moment of truth 2. Here is the hard drive. Everything's connected. I've got it on its actual plate this time. Um, not screwed down, just like sitting on the standoffs. Boot it up. Posts. Now I need to see if there's anything wrong. Oh! The screen just went blue, so here it is, the Ubuntu is loading. So it all works fine, I'm just going to let it run for a bit then, and see if it overheats or anything. Okay guys, so, all started up, and now I'm just going to run KDN Live and Brackets. Being a bit slow. But this laptop, or now computer, is 11 years old. Um... Here it is, running them fine. Uh, I haven't got a proper monitor, uh, like CPU monitoring thing that shows the temperatures, but it shows the usage. The fan's only for circulating the air because it's it's a desktop CPU's cooler, and the heat might like stay just clinging around and stuff. So that's literally just to keep the air circulation. Um, yeah, it seems to be working quite well, to be honest. Okay, guys, so here is one of the videos playing. This is my soon-coming camera setup. Check that out up there if you haven't seen it yet. But basically, everything seems to be working fine. I've got three programs running, and file manager, and also I'm watching a video. That's good. And there's no sound because these speakers aren't connected. It's not too bad. Oh, one thing I'm going to say about speakers is I finally put the covers on them. Look, they look so cool. Okay, guys, so it's a bit later on. Um, I've measured and cut the hole. I just need to file it down now. It fits really nicely. So here it is. The fan's going to be glued to the circuit board I've agreed now. It's going to be glued there. Not down here or anything. So it's closer. And then I'm going to build a little thing to go over the top. That's level with that, nice and flush. Here's the front, by the way. Uh, there are all the ports. That's aux. That's mic. Oh, I'm, and I'm also going to varnish it as well, but just not in this video. So yeah. So I'm just finishing filing all of this, and yeah, I've done most of it. But yeah, it's quite cool. Except for when I was cutting this with the coping saw, that happened. Look, you can see the gap. Uh, yeah, I need to re-glue that. But I don't have any glue here, so when I get to my dad's, I'll do that. Same with this. I'll do it at the same time as this. Also, this will give it some support. Okay, guys, so it's the next day, and I'm kind of in my school uniform. But I'm also at my dad's. What I've done is I've cable-tied 
that there because that kept moving around every time I moved the computer, every time I unscrewed anything. Uh, this thermal paste doesn't really glue, it's just the grease, it's just like, it just is the thermal stuff, it's no glue or anything. It doesn't actually keep it stuck, not that I think any stuff does. But anyway, I've also put underneath the hard drive, because when I got to my dad's uh, today, earlier today, um, the IDE extension arrived. Uh, so that's there, nicely just sitting there on the hard drive that's slightly... Um, not screwed down properly and here's the fan that is running off this USB that I need to drill a hole in the side of the case so that can just come out and then go back around okay guys so this is kind of it there's a little ugly USB to power the fan oh yeah by the way guys this is the bottom that um, I never ended up putting on because I still need to glue some bits of batten because last time I glued this on it ended up going a bit like that into it okay guys so um, after all of this I have uh, done nothing here at the moment I need to glue that in but basically, the 12mm that I was originally going to use for the sides, because it glues better, because it has a bigger surface area, um, didn't have enough clearance on the left side. Even though that's on the right, it's because like you flip it around and then it's correct. So basically, when the fan was in here, like that, the ram stopped it from going left anymore. You see that? So it's not centred. And 12, there's no, there's not 12 mil there, so I had to use a 6 mil there, 6 mil on the top like I was originally going to, and then I need the 12 mil here. So once the glue's dried and I'm ready to do it, uh, and I charge my battery because it's dead, um, we can carry on. Okay, guys, so the glue has not really dried, but kind of dried, and I kind of have to go now. So that's why. I haven't left it to completely dry, but it will dry in there. Um, but basically, all I'm going to do now is just glue that there, as close to the edge as I can. And then it will bring in fresh air and blow it through the heatsink. Maybe maybe I'll do it in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it there. So it's got some air to breathe all the way around. So, I'm just going to do that now. Okay guys, so the hard drive extension didn't work. So I had to send it back, so that's why this is recorded about a week later. But it does all work, it just needs a new hard drive extension and I haven't got it yet. So I'm just going to show you it in its case, but it can't boot, but you have seen it. It does 100% work. So let's take a look at it. Here it is guys, so the heatsink is excellent, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, the temperatures don't get above 35 at all. I mean, the maximum I've seen it is about 33. So, yeah, it's quite amazing with the fan in this case, so it all looks nice. It's kind of blended in and stuff. It's varnished as well. So you got the audio uh, output on the bottom, then microphone in the middle, and I'm not sure what the top one is. So you got the VGA, the old fan space, and two USB ports. This is going to be like a media PC, like an HT PC down in the living room connected to the TV so we can just watch, you know, Netflix or YouTube videos uh, down in the living room without having to like get the laptop, find all the cables and then plug it in and then take it all down. This is already just set up. So that's going to be really handy for me. Okay guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it because I found it really fun and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. When I took the screen off and just had it on the desk, that was just one step further to having it in the case. But after all of this, I found it's not that powerful, so I'm glad I put it in the case because it was really not that powerful enough for editing and editing music and videos so yeah so i really hope you enjoyed it so remember smash that like button hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video next wednesday